Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and uh, this is the Frontline Changes Report. Uh, we just finished a very long DPA open mic session. Do check it out. Search on YouTube DPA open mic and uh, you'll be able to see you no know, fellow, no DPA community discussing about politics and geopolitics and war. And uh, there's some frontline changes uh, uh, over at Taike, Makievka, Zalizny, Progress, Yekhanivka, Novoselivka, Persia, Yasnobrodivka, Krasnohorivka, and Uruzaini. So all across all the different front lines. First off, we go to Taike. Over at Taike, there is a joint location of Russian forces uh, over in the north of Taike, invalidating Ukrainian claims because the Ukrainian claims are all the way, you know, until here. So. Uh, the Russian forces clearly is in this region here uh, because the Russians have already previously claimed around here so the it doesn't change the Russian front line only change the Ukrainian front line so in case you do not know there's actually two maps this what you're looking at now is not one map it's actually two different maps blue is the Ukrainian mapping the pink one is the Russian mapping so there's actually two different maps so you can see that the overlapping is the difference between the two mappings uh, no, from the Russian and the Ukrainian side. So there is, of course, discrepancy. You no know, information from both sides are a bit different. Uh, we go into Makievka. Over at the Makievka, at the, at the Kremlin front, Russian forces have been geolocated along this uh, galley region. And uh, this caused the frontline change uh, in this area here, to, uh, which invalidates Ukrainian claims. So this is the same situation uh, as the one at Taike. So this Nevsky, Makievka. So, and our uh, Kremina is over here. So, and our uh, Liman city is over here. So and, uh, the next frontline change is over at Zalizny. So this is over at the New York, uh, at the New York front. Uh, the Russian forces at the Zalizny region have expanded their control uh, southward, uh, taking more grounds and uh, probably some of these heavy trenches that the Ukrainians have defending the front line. So the Russian forces have a expanded front line around Zalizny and uh, this would definitely threaten our uh, Ukrainian forces over at the Pivdeni region uh, as they are pro they are currently you know, in a potential uh, salient and the Russians are pushing in this direction. So maybe, maybe. So after uh, Zalizny, uh, we have frontline change of like, progress over at the DFK front. So New York front is here, this New York front. And then this is the uh, ADFK front. Is this is the ADFK front? So over at Progress, uh, Russian forces have made progress. You no, know, very apt name. Uh, over in the eastern part of Progress, Russian forces have expanded their control pretty significantly, and also have uh, Russians also claim more control over in the Yekhanivka region, claiming to have taken most of this. Uh, heavy fortification west of Yekhanivka. So this is a Russian claim above is a confirmed capture and uh, the, dif the the distance of progress is around one kilometers for the Russians towards progress and uh, the one this is a Russian claim so you no know, just take it with a pinch of salt and see how this progress but it seems to line up uh, the progress at, the, at both sides together. So after Yekhanivka we have frontline change south of this location over at Novoselivka, Persia. And uh, this, of course, came as per what we have predicted. Russian forces attack east, they attack north, northeast, and then they are now attacking east again. So Russian forces make progress, uh, confirmed by geolocation on the entire front on the eastern part of Novoselivka, Persia, as the Russian push westward to sw uh, sweep the Ukrainians off this entire area towards the Voscha River. So there's a major front line change around here. The entire stretch of the front line, we are talking about uh, around two kilometers, two point two kilometers, uh, in terms of the entire front line, and of and also you know in terms of depth, is around a one kilometer progress. So, the next front line change is over south of this location at Yasnobrodivka, and as you can see, the most a lot of these front line changes are concentrated at the DFK front because this is where the Russian main offensive is actually un ongoing. It's not at the New York front. New York front is just a diversion. This is this is the main push. Khaki front is also a diversion. So over at Yasno Brodivka, Russian forces have uh, claimed to have taken uh, more of Yasno Brodivka. The entire eastern part of Yasno Brodivka has fallen between Umanske and the settlement. And the Russians are making continued progress on both sides of the bank of this river. The next frontline change is over at Krasnohorivka. So uh, 
at Krasnohorivka, there is geolocation of uh, Russian forces in this uh, north, uh, northwestern part of Krasnohorivka. This is a continuation of the Russian push on the northwestern neighborhoods as the Russians uh, continue to make progress around this area and uh, they continue to push uh, and uh, they are making good progress and they are pretty, uh, they have moved perhaps around 200 to 200, 250 meters and uh, from the very end of the from, from the end of the this uh, main road at the uh, Sevdova road is around half a kilometer plus around 600 meters so the Russians are getting very close in this area here as they continue to make this push to cut off the road uh, of retreat at Krasnohorivka but at Krasnohorivka, there is also some good news for the Ukrainians uh, Ukrainian forces have been geolocated in this uh, south southwestern uh, outskirt or southwestern neighborhood of Krasnohorivka, confirming Ukrainians have taken some control back around this area here near the railway line. And uh, otherwise, this there's one last frontline change, and uh, this last frontline change is over at Uruzaine. So at the Vatican Novosilka uh, uh, sector of the Donetsk front, Russian forces have confirmed to have captured Uruzaine. Deep State UA, the pro-Ukrainian source and mapping has confirmed that Uruzaine has been captured by the Russian forces after a massive assault in the northern part northern part of the village. And um and the Russian Defense Ministry has also announced that they have captured uh, the Vostok group of forces have taken Uruzaine and they are currently climbing and demining the settlement. So based on this latest frontline change the Russian forces have indeed taken the rest of the, the settlement and this marks the fall of Uruzaine and completed the conquest of the twin towns of Staromayovsky and Uruzaine, uh, marking the, the, the loss of one of these major frontline settlements that the Ukrainians have captured uh, in during the 2023 counter-offensive. The other ones being Robotine. So the loss of Robotine was major because that was a that was uh, taken at huge cost and now start up my scale Uruzaine, the furthest point at the Veliko Novoselka sector of the uh, of the Ukrainian counteroffensive is now lost to the Russians. So the Russians are clawing back um, the Ukrainian uh, success of the counteroffensive and uh, what's going to come next is going to be horrible as the fighting has already arrived at Plachodatne and Starozeve and uh, so force, Russian forces are already you know, moving to attack Ukrainian forces north of Uruzani and start of my escape. So anyway, that's all for the frontline changes report. The SIPREP will be later, you know, probably you know, in Singapore's evening time, another you know, 10, 12 hours perhaps. So thank you for watching. Do press the like button, subscribe, and uh, check out the DP Open Mind. The link is here. And I'll see you guys in the next update.